Ladies and gentlemen, today welcome to something quite familiar, but yet so different. Today welcome to my basement. This is something that I was really excited to go and visit because as many of you guys do know, I loved going and visiting the 7-Eleven that we had over from Baba Corp. And today, this is another map made by the man, the myth, the legend himself. And I'm just curious to see what this actually is like because from what I knew with the 7-Eleven, it was very liminal and creepy and they had so many other things added to it. But as for the basement, I don't know what exactly our goal is going to be. I assume we're just going to be going like crazy on the exploration. And something that I am really excited to go and see is just the amount of interaction that this map actually has. Because knowing Baba, one of the biggest things that he does in a lot of his maps is he likes to make a lot of the like objects within the game interactable. Where you can go and pick up, you can break, you can go and use. You can basically do all sorts of things within it. But before we go and do anything, we do have a spawn weapon, so I am going to go and grab this little gun, and I need to go and spawn in some of my favorite objects here, which was the Glock 17, and also another beautiful flashlight, just in case we need to use this for later on. So let's go and grab this Glock, we're going to load this bad boy up, and I better just go and turn that off for now, because it's honestly pretty light where we're at. And if you guys are wondering what mod I am using, I got like a Glock pack, and then I also have Resmex gun attachments that I'm using on this. So that is what I'm using for the flashlights, but for the most part, I am just ready to go and start our exploration. But strangely enough, the music is just so odd. Like, it's just super, super, like, scuffed. I don't know how to explain it. And what about, like, this bookshelf? Is there anything, like, behind this that we can go and find? Is it literally just a normal room, like a storage room? Okay, I am really confused because I know when Baba makes a map, he makes it seem so ordinary, but yet there's so many things that are hidden that- Ooh, actually, what is this? Yo, wait a minute. We got a crazy skybox over here. Hello? I wonder if we're going to have any of like those crazy like back rooms types of stuff. Because I know in the last map on 7-Eleven, he had some of those like horror aspects in it. So I'm really interested to see what he actually plans to do here within this one. And how big is this map it seems like the song actually changed i don't know if it just changed because of the room i went in or if it's because we're just going through a playlist but what do we got inside of these boxes that's what i gotta go and see let's go and check this out i want to see if we can find anything inside of any of these boxes man we got a m1 garand hello with the bayonets okay i guess we'll go and stick that on our back we might as well just go and keep that and we got a computer with myth os on it what about anything like inside of the shelving unit is there anything like inside the drawers oh wait a minute what are you okay this is really odd it's like a meteorite or something or just a rock <laughs> i don't know it's it's one of the two it's either a rock like that's completely poor in value or it's a meteorite so that's pretty cool Oh, check this out. Yes. Okay, I knew this was going to be something. Can we just jump right through it? Oh, nice, dude. And I should be able to do this with my knuckles if I do this right. I remember doing my knuckle climb before. I just want to see what we could maybe find in this area, man. Because there's so much, I guarantee, in this map that he has to go and explore. And this has got to be one of the parts that you're supposed to go and find. But I wonder if we could maybe just go upstairs and make it back to this area, too. Because I did notice that he had a door that led up there. So maybe I should just go run over there and check that out. Because maybe that just leads back to that same area. Instead of just going and like trying to climb up that for God knows how long. Oh, hello! We got another head crab. I want you to be my friend. Can you come along with me? I want you to just like chill out and just be my friend for as long as we can be. Because once you turn blue, then we'd be like little friendly friends. You know, just like my, my entire day that I spent in Bone Lab. With your beautiful face. Alright, I do love my crablets. Even though they are terrifying. And uh, they try to rip your brains out. And basically convert you into whatever program that they have. I mean, they still have a heart. They still have a heart. Okay, come back to me. Come back. Thank you, good sir. You're gonna come right with me. But I'm not gonna lie. The music is really ominous. I don't know how I necessarily feel about it. And then not to mention the corridor... It goes and puts us in like what the heck is going on in here, man? It's like a mix of liminal and also just like a lot of fam like familiarity in a sense, but 
also something I really have to like go and talk about within this video too is like it just seems so open and barren in a lot of ways like it's kind of like an unusual and unsettling feeling with how empty this place is can we do anything with the TV I want to break it oh nice dude they actually have like full-out interactables with that that is so cool oh my gosh okay I should probably actually keep my gun and my ammunition just in case we need to go and use that but I just want to go and check out every little thing that this place has. Why is there so much, like, so many floors or so many rooms? I don't get it, bro. Okay, I need to go and pull this over and see if maybe there's anything hiding behind it. And yes, there is. Look at this little crablet, man. <gasps> Whoa, what are you doing there? Hello? Okay, you're just kind of vibing. Okay, Mr. Crablet, I might have to come back and find you later on. So I'm just going to stick you, like, in between these chairs. Okay, just stay right there. Okay, don't move. Okay, you know what? You chose death. All right? You chose that upon yourself. But what I need to go and see is what is beyond this little vent that we got sitting here. I'm actually really excited to go and see what we got. Can I just go and yank this bad boy off? Ugh! There we go. And now, let's go and explore this dark little, uh, dark little vent that we got. But for some reason, it's kind of getting flung when I was going. What does this lead to, huh? Oh, there's, like, an airflow that's, like, pushing me or something. I don't know. What was that? Unless my body was stuck on something. What? Why do I feel like my body just kind of, like, doing some weird things? But I kind of want to go check up there. All right, so it does look like we got another place that we can explore up on the top. But I think at the moment, I'm just going to try and, like, get as much of this floor, like, figured out as possible before we go and try to climb up some of those vents. So we just have to remember what rooms we were already at. But for the most part, there is just so many other places that we have to see. And what the heck is this room, dude? It's like a god room. There's a vent. Okay, so how in the heck are we going to get up there? Was I supposed to stack those boxes in order to get to that? Honestly, I'm not too sure. What is this clipboard? Does it say anything? What do you read? Your basement. Your basement. Okay. Very odd, but I kind of want to go and check out what's inside of that vent, but how do we get up? I mean, I could just go and use my Nimbus and go and explore this, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go and fly right up, and we'll see what we can go and find right over here. So we'll go and throw that Nimbus away, climb into the vent, if we can, please and thank you, and let's go and proceed to explore through our basement. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't think this is what my basement used to look like, but... You know, it's just one of those things where basically we're kind of thrown into a loop of uh, a lot of things that are very liminal, but also very, very different in so many ways. And that's what's so exciting about a lot of these mods is because it's just a continuous exploration and journey as you go through it. Like when I went to the 7-Eleven, one of the biggest things that was really, I guess, exciting for me is just the new things to go and see and like the puzzles that they had within it. And just, I don't know, just the entire idea of something that's just so unknown is just so intriguing to me. But can I try to rip this off or maybe bust through it? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to go and punch it and give it a little bit of force. All right, let's go and climb right into this vent once again. Raise my legs. Maybe I could just jump in it. Ugh, reach. Okay, there we go. Perfect. But yeah, I think one of the coolest, like, things about the 7-Eleven, the reason why I love that map so much, was just because how much you could really explore and see within the game, you know? And then not to mention, like, how he added, like, new items to go and use, and even just, like, other puzzles that you could do. Like, it's just exciting to have, like, a puzzle type of thing like that in a Bone Lab mod, and to really experience that on something that's just completely new. But as for today... I just gotta say, it's almost creepy with how the rooms have been laid out. Like, I almost feel like... I feel like I'm being watched. And if you guys remember with 7-Eleven, there was a creepy, creepy dark figure that was staring in the window over there. And I'm curious if he's also gonna be making a little, a little stop in this map, too. And there was nothing behind those bookshelves, but what if I check under these seats? Doesn't look like anything there. But... There might still be some other stuff in this room. I don't want to, like, completely just write it off as nothing. Because you never know until you start looking. And that's just the thing about Baba, man. I If I know... If I know Baba made something, I'm going to try to look at, like, every corner. Because 
he goes all out, man. And that's just, like, the beauty of it. But something that's, like, really reminiscent about, like, the map that he's creating is it kind of reminds me, strangely enough, of, like, the original Gmod days when you went to go play horror maps. Like, there's just something so fun and unique about it. And it's just to relive that same concept in virtual reality is just so, so new and fun. But also, where does this drop down to? Is this where we were before? I feel like this is where we, like, nimbus like, past. Like, the skeleton should probably be over there. So, if I can try to reach... Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, we are golden, my man. But it is just so, like, it is so refreshing to go and play just, like, some laid-back exploration maps. Because not only is it kind of like that horror s type of stuff, but it's also just so, like, based on, like, your own sanity, in a sense... Like, it's based on how far you want to take things and everything. It's just, it's so intriguing and interesting. Because it's like, it could be horror, or it could just be you getting in your head psychologically the entire time. And that, to me, is what makes it so entertaining and fun and just enjoyable. Is because it's the power of the human mind the entire time. Like, where you want to stop or, like, what creeps you out the most. You know, like, that's just the fun concept of it. But can I also break that open and see what we got hello we got a pool what's up son haha <laughs> except there's literally no water in it but we got another vent i guess is there any other items maybe that are like laying around i want to see if we can find like any easter eggs that are waiting for us here and what do we got in this bad boy okay so we got another vent on the bottom but i want to check out the rest of the room before we do anything we got another vent on the side too Okay, so I think we're going to try to stay on this floor for the most part, just because we've already been adventuring so much of this. So it'll be easier to keep track of all that stuff, as long as we're staying on the same level. So let's just go and climb right back in this vent, and we'll go and push right through. And we got a toilet. Hello? What is our toilet doing here? And a mirror? Can I, like, look in it? Is there anything on there? I'm not going to lie, this used to be, like, one of my biggest fears. Whoa. A functional sink? Okay, that's really odd. Can I flood it? I wonder if I can flood the room. Dude, he even got, like, all functional custom items. Okay, I don't think my sink is supposed to be doing that, though. Um, I think we need a plumber, Baba. Um, our sink is a little broken. Can I flush the toilet? Oh, yeah. Let's see. It actually works, dude. Can I, like, flush items down it? Like, if I took a mag, could I flush this down the toilet? No, bro. Missed opportunity. But the fact this is even functional with, like, the lid, the sink, and all this stuff, this is so cool, man. I love it. Okay, let's go and climb right back through if we can. Thank you, good sir. But I wonder if that sink's gonna initiate, like, maybe filling up the pool or anything. Or maybe start any other steps throughout the map. So I just want to go and, like, mess with all the interactables that we have here. Let's go and try to shoot that vent off if we can. Maybe shoot the corner? Maybe if I shoot it from a different angle. Okay, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to go and jump down and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we didn't break through the bottom, which is nice. We can go and rip this off. Maybe. Wait, is this all climbable? I can climb this up. Yo! This entire time, was I able to go and climb up those, like, tunnels and stuff? Oh my gosh, is everything grabbable? Oh, that is so nice if that's actually the case. Okay, please just yank the stupid thing off. Okay, boys, I have tried everything to try and get this thing open, but I am just not... Apparently strong enough, unless maybe... Did I just get, like, the perfect angle to pull that? Come on, keep going. It's so freaking tight on this wall. Can I pull it down? Please, come on, we're so close. I can feel it moving, bro. Just so slightly. I just need to get a better grab on this thing. Yes! Okay, sweetness. That was a lot tougher than that needed to be. But now we got ourselves inside of the vent, and we can go and continue to explore our basement. But man, I am just curious on what Mr. Baba has in store for us tonight, man. Because this is going to be something that either A, is going to scare the living crap out of me. Or B, I'm just going to get so psychologically in my head this entire time that, uh, what the freak? Okay, so we got some more bookshelves, it looks like. Sweet, and then, ooh, okay. So you can totally just climb all this stuff. Oh my gosh, bro. I didn't have to use my knuckles that entire time. I could have just walked up by grabbing. Oh, that would have made things so much easier if I would have known that. 
Holy crap, we got a half pipe over here? Dude, we need to get some skateboards and start, like, actually dropping in and stuff, bro. That'd be sick. Oh, my goodness, dude. There's just so much. Like, what am I even looking at? Whoa. Okay. What is this room? Um, I have never seen anything like this before. There's, like, an ultra lockdown over here. There's apparently something super special over in that area. But this room is just so bright. So bright and white. Can I grab anything? Or is this, like, locked? I can't tell. Maybe it's like... Whoa, there's like a bunch of... Looks like a bunch of white static on the other side. I don't know what's on there. But there's got to be a way to go and open this up. I assume it like kind of rides down or we can like get that door open somehow. So we just got to continue like exploring and see what else we can maybe find throughout this level, man. But I want to see if there's any other vent spots. Potentially go here within this room. But it does not seem like it. So I think what I would do is I'm going to go back to the vents. And I'm just going to go and drop down and see where this takes us. But there is another... <gasps> okay, sweet. Okay, so we've actually already been there. But has there been... Oh, wait. This is literally... Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, so we haven't explored this room yet. So I'm actually kind of tempted to go and see what we can find on this spot. But do they got a different skybox over here now? What? Because, yeah, there used to be like a city skyline on the other one. But for some reason, this one just kind of like, you're just stuck in the sky? Whoa. Okay, so now we're under the other skate park room, it looks like. And what else do we got in here? Can we go and jump up, maybe? I bet we can do it. Yes! Okay, awesome, man. I love the exploration in this already. Like, even if there's not going to be any of those, like, jump scares or other puzzles, I just love the fact, like, the best way to explain this is if you've ever been to Las Vegas. This reminds me of Meow Wolf. Like, spitting image of Meow Wolf, man. Of just going and exploring, finding hidden passages, and just being stuck in, like, this weird, like, this weird, unsettling world, in a sense. You know what I mean? It's just, it's cool. So we just did a loop. So I'm actually going to go and just drop right back down and see where this decides to take us. I like the idea of this being a green room, because that means it's safe. Unless it's not, because this might be the melon people from Mr. Bone Lab. Um, can I get a drink? I want a... I want a classic. Can I get a classic? Please? And just click it? Give me the classic! I'm gonna knock this stupid thing over. I'm gonna shake it. You know what? I know they always say not to shake it, but I think I'm gonna do it, boys, because I think... Ooh, what? What did I just do? Did I just put a coin in? Well, how did I do that? I just heard something clink. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to, like, beat the machine? There's got to be something out of this machine, right? There's no way they don't have anything behind it. Seriously? Dude, I was totally expecting something to be behind here. But what is this? It's like a glass room? Okay, I'm going to go on the other side. But, wait, we got a bottle! What is this? We got a pill drink? Can I drink it? Oh, what? There's a bunch of the pill drinks just chilling over here. But what exactly are these? Never seen them before. But, I guess, whatever. We got some pill drinks, I guess, guys. But I want to go and see what's on the other side of this strange room. And the music is just... Oh, wait, what? Wait a second. Wasn't there, like, another vent that was supposed to be, like, here? I thought it showed, like, a vent on this side. Am I tripping? I could have swore it showed a vent over here. Oh, I'm getting flung around. All right, I'm going to go in and bust this open and see where else this may be. Ooh, is this just a wall? I'm pretty sure this just leads to another wall unless... Oh, we might got another bookshelf if we can push it over. Okay, we gotta just give a running start. Let's do this. Okay, ready? Go! Oh, there we go. Sweet. I just needed a little bit more momentum to go and get that table freaking moved. Or whatever that was. A shelving unit? I don't even know what it was. As long as we got it, that's what matters. But what is with all these TVs that are just busted, bro? I mean, it wasn't busted before I got here, but... Let's go and see if there's another vent. Can we find any more vents that are hiding behind these little bookshelves? And it looks like a no-go. But at least now we're back to our door exploration. But how many rooms does this place have? Because I feel like we're kind of almost doing a loop, but in the same way we haven't necessarily... Oh, reach it! Nice! Okay. We haven't necessarily done a loop because these rooms are technically a little bit different. So I'm just going to go and climb up these and see where exactly Baba wants to take me here in my basement. Ooh, what is that? 
Actually, that looks completely different from anything that we've seen yet. I want to go and explore this room. What? Oh, we got another clipboard! Sweetness! We got a clipboard. We got... It looks like an eyeball? Am I wrong for saying that? It kind of does look like an eye scan or something. What was that? Um. Did you guys hear that? Okay, I don't know if that was in real life, or if that was the game, but I'm pretty sure someone just made a sound. Lore stuff. Hi! Lore text goes here. You know what? Thanks for leaving that. I really needed that. You know what? At this time, I'm gonna go and drink some of like, this melon stuff too, if I can, please. Okay, a little sippy. Bro, what was that? I don't know if you guys heard that same noise. Maybe I'm just like, going crazy. <gasps> I'm definitely hearing something. What in the actual heck? Am I going crazy, guys? There was some noise, bro. I swear to God. Okay, this is where the creepy starts. Yeah, okay. I knew there was going to be a twist eventually. Oh, my God. I heard that noise, and it seriously scared the living crap out of me, bro. Because I, I couldn't tell if it was the game or if that was real life. So I was about ready to take off my headset and go and check out. Why is it so close? Oh my gosh, man. Why? And why are all these rooms just like almost the exact same? It's like driving me insane. Whoa, I kind of just went a little bit too fast. But I think the thing that makes it even more uncomfortable is the fact I haven't seen anything yet. Like, it's just the sounds and the anticipation of what to expect. And I think that's what's honestly scaring me the most. <gasps> what the freak? Was that something? Or was that just my lighting? Oh my god, I wish you guys could, like... I wish I had a face cam on right now. Like, generally, so you guys could see how I'm reacting. Because this is actually terrifying. Oh my god. Let's go and grab our pistol back. Go and continue. Why? Okay, is this where we came in? I gotta assume that's where we busted in, right? And then we just kept walking. No, wait. Did we? I wonder. Because I feel like we walked over in this room, right? Let me go and climb up. Because didn't we have a table in the first spot that we walked? Or am I crazy? I could have swore there was a table there. What is going on, dude? Am I just like... I think I'm just going crazy, bro. I just keep walking. Okay, I'm just gonna crawl this way and hopefully get through it. Okay. Yeah, where was that table? I don't know where the table's at. That's the thing. We need to find the table, bro. Because wherever that is, that's where we need to go. Because wherever that table is, that's where we know we actually first entered. And then I can choose to go in the other spot if we needed to. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some noises being made in here. I don't know what exactly is following us or what's joining us here on this journey, but we need to keep our eyes and ears peeled as we continue through this. So this is the table, right? And this is where we came in. So I did have a different spot. So we should actually go down that other area and see where that leads. But I don't know how many more of these like vent places are actually still left in here. We got this one that leads over. I assume it's just where this light room is, right? So we'll go and run back to this and see if maybe that vent decides to lead us anywhere promising. Or maybe we can find wherever that creature is. But the thing is, is this entire time that I've been on this map, every time there's been a new path, there's been a vent blocking it. But for some reason this time, the first time I actually hear movement and sounds and whatever, the vent is actually not here. It's just open. So I'm almost like... I'm almost a little bit more intimidated by this because I almost think, like, I'm basically following the path to my death. Because it's probably going to be down here. Oh, man. Why are you a thing? Is there anything down there? Okay. So this just leads to the bottom. I'm just going to go and climb across. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go and jump down that place in just a minute. But I want to continue and explore what's through these vents. Because I think we might be onto something with that whole sound thing. We gotta be able to make it. What is that? 
What is that? Is that a vent that's glitching out? Hello? Is this where I climbed in? Is this the pool? Oh, this is the pool room, I think. Right? Or am I crazy? I think I just looped around. This would have been where I came in from the pool, and I chose to go left, right? Okay. I think I know where we're at, unless... I should just go and check just to make sure. I'm pretty sure this is the pool, though. Like, this was the pool room, or like the skating room, or whatever. Right? Let's try it again, just to make sure. Let's see where it leads. Yep, okay, so we're back to pool room. I'm starting to figure it out now. At least I know where we're at. Like, that is a huge, huge plus now. That we have at least, like, an idea of where we're at here within the map. So, I think what I'm going to do is maybe travel back down and see where this takes us. Whee! Go check this out. And we got a new vent. Hello! Anyone home? We got a really creepy office that's just empty. But, bro... These bone jams are nuts. I actually really like the music. It's just like, it's super chill and almost like, I shouldn't say lo-fi. What, what kind of music style is this? I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's fun. It's like funky. Oh, wait a minute. We got a really cool room here. We got a bunch of stuff that we can go and interact with. Texturing for morons. Hey, what brush do you use? Making everything harder. I could really use this book. Tyler N. I feel like this is probably a jab at one of his friends, and that's hilarious. Hey, what brush do you use? Okay, so there's nothing on that sheet that we really need. We got a noodle sword, a bunch of batteries, little mini MythOS computers. These are actually kind of cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many, like, small interactions, and I love it. We got, like, these little, uh, little launch pad thingamajongers. What else do we got? Anything in the trash can? Hello? Okay. Bro. Yeah, there's just so much stuff to look at, but I don't necessarily know what I should be looking for. It's 3.14 in the morning. Does that mean anything significant? 3.14. Oh, we got another sheet. Give me that. Oh, I didn't mean to grab the sword. I'm making a huge mess. I just wanted to grab the clipboard. Can go and give me this. Dobrik's Cards and Collectibles. New stock, February 18th of 1993. One keyboard, three foam swords, one CRT monitor, and 45 Voids Graphs TCG packs. Are you are you telling me there's actually, like, card packs I can open? Because I have been getting a lot more into Pokemon, and I'm so down to check those out. Where are the cards? I need to see all these packs. Where are the Pacalonis? We got a bunch of those random TVs. We got a Rotten Zombies poster. Whatever this is. And what are you, Super Land Garbros? What? Super Land Garbo. So this must be like some like an AI depiction of Super Mario or something? Or what is this? I have no clue. This is so intriguing. Okay, now we got into some of the fancy stuff, man. I think we got more into like the deep feeling of what a Baba map's like. Oh, I thought it was locked for a second. But no, I definitely think we're starting to get, like, we're starting to get somewhere now. You know what I mean? Like, in those original levels. Ooh, is that, is there another thing back there? No, okay, it was just the lighting. Perfect. What else do we got? So, it's still 314 on the clocks there. But we can go and open this door up, and it's just another ambiguous hallway. What the freak am I doing here, dude? They're just, the doors never end! They just don't end! How long am I supposed to explore this place? I don't even know. Wait, isn't this where we started? Oh my god, it is. Bro, we did a full loop. Okay. So we're cracking down. We're cracking down a bit. We broke this vent. Dude, so I think we actually explored a lot of this main floor. So I'm going to go do a little bit of like kind of a speed run and run through a lot of this stuff. And see if we can get every door opened, unlocked, checked out, any of the items found any of that type of stuff because that's what truly I need to look for on this level because I'm sure there's going to be like some type of interactable that's super important that we need okay so that vent can we do anything nope it's got like air coming through it but it doesn't do anything oh you know what was this the one that we didn't climb up or is this the one that we did climb up okay I think that's the one that we did there was another one that we went to that I tried to do the knuckle climb and I couldn't do it so I need to find that again but, we got another door on this side, which leads to another creepy room with grass? 
does this do? Is it glass? Okay. Well, I don't know what that does. So I'm just going to continue exploring. But, whoa. Okay, this is a big room. Hello. Where am I? Can I squeeze through? Oh, I totally can. Does this lead anywhere? Is this the other side of that one room that had, like, the stairs? Like, that white room? I'm not too sure. But I want to see what's up here, dude. Can I maybe, like, move the trash cans to go and, like, jump up on top? Anything in the trash bins, maybe? Hello? Is there anything over here? You know what? I'm kind of, like, curious. Can I just climb the wall? Because everything else is climbable, like, vents-wise. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go and grab my Nimbus. We'll fly right up. Is there anything that we can do here? Does it lead to anything? Okay, so it's just a big block in the room. I don't know if it does anything. Then we got the dumpsters. I don't see anything under it. Anything in the trash bins that we can look for? I'm not too sure. I don't think there was any items, but just want to check to make sure, because honestly, I want to check every corner of this place, man, to make sure I'm not missing anything. And this... This room is really creepy to me just because there's just one solo chair sitting here like why why is there just a random chair facing this wall and just an empty room with all this lighting like granted i would love this for a vr space like this looks incredible but man what is going on here i probably just disrupted like the demons that are here or something bro like i'm probably walking on like really bad territory right now knowing that where i ended with 7-eleven um ooh. That door just slammed closed. Okay. Okay, now we're in, like, a prison. Um, this is not right. Okay, can we open the glass and stuff? Like, all the cabinets? Whoa, you're, like, super... Super flimsy. Super flimsy cabinet. I can, like, totally throw you around. about this? Little end table that we got. Where did he get all these models? Unless he actually did them himself. This is crazy. We got our other boxes... We got another vent on the other side, so maybe I'll just go and move these shelving units and see what else we can find within these vents. But in the same way, I kind of feel like we should continue going through the doors just to make sure that we got all of those unlocked. And plus, this is our first ever metal one that we found, which strangely... Oh, wait. Is that going to stay open if I go in it? Okay, I don't like this at all. This is just really creepy. Anything to do with the mirror? No. Toilet? Can I flush it? Toilet works. What about the bathtub? Okay, bathtub works. I guess we can go take a bath. What the heck? Like, what's the point of this? Why do you have this here? Does the shower work? Can I move it, maybe? Nope. It's so weird. Like, why does he have this added in? Like, it's such a small attention to detail thing, but... It's so cool. It's like so fascinating to just go and mess with everything. Oh, I thought I saw a, I thought I saw a clipboard sitting up there. Okay. No, I'm just tripping out. So let's go and grab this other vent. And let's go and check this bad boy out. I am excited to get back into the vent alones. Okay, no, I thought I heard footsteps, but that was just uh just the music playing. We are good. The music is oddly keeping me a little bit more sane, but also, what changed with the outdoors here now? It's, like, purely red now. But I see some, like, lighting on the other side, so this must lead to a different room. So if we continue around here, we might be able to go and find something on that other side. But can I squeeze past this little soda machine and just knock that bad boy over? I want to see if we can maybe... Dude, why did that shadow scare me? I don't know why I'm being such a pansy. So we got the blue room, we got the red room... And there's nothing to do with vents here, right? I don't think there's anything. Unless... Is there one behind this one? Yo, I actually might be lucky on this one. I think there was one. Nice! Okay, so we just gotta move this. Chuck it down on the ground. Perfect. Now I wanna see what this room has. Because I'm pretty sure I saw those lights through that window. But I don't see it on this blue end. Okay, well, either way. I'm gonna go and rip this stupid metal off. Get out of my face. Please. Oh, you're stuck in my arm! You're stuck in my arm! Okay, we're good. But... Also, wait a second. Why is this? Does it just lead to the same room? No. Okay, so I did see those lights on the other thing, but what is this? Oh my god. It kind of looks like the moon MPD from like Call of Duty Zombies. And then 
Do we need to feed it stuff? Like, is this like a... Whoa. Okay, can I feed you anything? It's like making a weird noise. What do I do with this thing? Okay, this is so sick. But I don't know what I do with it. Do I have to bring drinks to it or something? Or I, I'm guessing I gotta find something that interacts with these greens. It'll probably be so obvious when I find it, right? So I gotta like get four different key items for this big block thing. This big alien-like creature. So, gotta remember this room. I don't think I'll forget it. Because it is so freaking weird, dude. And the sound it's emitting. Do you guys hear this? What am I even... Look, can I reach in his mouth? Okay, that's probably a bad idea. I probably shouldn't put my fingers in there. Bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, his mouth is open. Let me just go and put my hand in that thing. Because that's a smart idea. So that's a really cool room. We can remember that just by looking for blue room. We'll look for those lights. And then we'll definitely know where we're at. And what we need to do in order to uh, to drop like those items and stuff off. But also, did I ever open this door? Am I crazy? Did I never open that? Anything behind this one? Okay, I don't see anything behind that machine. But what about you? Do you have anything behind you? Okay, that one is also empty. So we're fine on those two ends. But I want to check this door. Because I don't know if we ever explored this. Okay, we have definitely not been here. Can we maybe bring, like, the pill drinks to him? There's got to be something, like, on these clipboards that say something, right? Let's check it out. Come on, give me that clipboard. I just got to reach it. Let me reach the clipboard. Oh, my arms are so stubby. Okay, let's see this thing. Script episode 32, Leeswald Hospital intro. Davey. Today, we got to look at the Leeswald Health United. One of the most famous abandoned hospitals to date. It has laid stagnant here for over seven years now. Soon to be demolished. So we figured now is the best time to venture forth. January 16th of 2022. So, apparently we're in an abandoned hospital now. And how did this lead back to this? Did I just forget to check out that other door on this room? What about the posters? I guess I never checked that either. Is there anything behind the posters? Void's grasp, the tournament. Now I can't read the language of the guy here. Yeah, I have no clue what any of this type of stuff says. Is this what we gotta watch out for in this level? I swear to God, if he shows up, I'm gonna freak. We got a wrench. Wait, what did that note thing say before? Wasn't there like, uh, oh my God, I can't think of it right now. There was something that I read. It was like three noodle swords, whatever, whatever, whatever. This thing on this clipboard. Is this what we got to feed to that dude? New stock, February 18th, 1993. So we need one keyboard, three foam swords, one CRT monitor, and 45 void grasp TCG packs. So I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to grab these noodle swords and bring them with me, right? And I want to see if I can donate this to that weird freaking, uh, that creature that we were at before. I don't know if that's exactly what this is going to be used for. I don't know why it would. Like, these items would be kind of odd for that to be the thing. But in the same way, I just want to check to make sure. Because, man, I don't know what I'm doing here. So, we're going to figure it out as we go. And I think this is red room. So, we need to go to blue room. And we'll try to donate this to the man and see what happens. Maybe he'll get angry. Maybe he'll be happy. Let's see. Can you eat this? Okay, so nothing happened there. What about this? Okay. Definitely nothing there. So noodle swords are not used for that. We need to find something else. But like, what do I have to look for? I'm so confuzzled, bro. So we're gonna go back to prison and see where this leads. Oh, I'm dumb. Man, there is just... There's so much to check out and I feel like I'm just scratching the surface today. Oh, that's so freaking exciting. Like, I don't know if you guys have, like, that explorer gene in you, but, like, even if there's, like, not a lot to, like, find, in a sense, it's just the idea of, like, what could be there, and that's what makes it so exciting when you're going and exploring this type of stuff, because it's like, you don't know what to expect, you don't know what you're gonna find, and then when you do find those things, it makes it that much more substantial, because you're not really expecting much, because at this time, I'm just, like, I'm just walking solo in this random basement, in my basement! Apparently, 
I'm walking in my own basement. And it's just this random exploration. We have this entire corridor that we haven't even touched yet. Which, in the same way, I probably shouldn't be pushing this. Oh, I kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know what's going to be on the other side. Come on, please just don't... Wait, I can't open it. What? Why can't I open this door? Hello? Why is this door not openable? Can I peek through it? Hello? Can I, like, bayonet it? Nothing's there. The door's locked. Do I need to find a key? I mean, this one does have a key on it. Do the other doors also have that, or am I just tripping? Maybe that door's just not openable. Because these ones all have keys. Then we got little batteries that we can use. Don't know if there's anything that we can do with those, though. I'm just going to leave them here for now. I don't think there's any purpose of those, right? But what is this? I want to check out what's behind this door, bro. How do I get behind it? Okay, so there's literally nothing in this room. So yeah, I don't know what is up with that room. It's just locked. Maybe it's just not completed, or I just, I'm not meant to go and explore it. But did we even check out any of these sides? What? And why is this open? Um, that is actually a little bit creepier because it's just randomly sitting open. What is going on? Hello, is there any spirits with me? Anyone want to come and say hi? Welcome to... Oh, wait. Have we been here? No, okay, so there's a ladder that way. I'm going to stay on this floor for now and see where this takes us. Hello? Um, we got some other bookshelves we can go and knock over. Is there any other vents? Doesn't look like it, but we got a teapot, I guess. Hello? Can I grab you? I want to, like... Oh! There we go, okay. Sorry, I need to get, like, that destruction out of me. Whoa! We got a party room! What's up, dudes? Oh my gosh, and what are you? Sugar Taurus. It's like a donut. Can I eat it? I want to eat it, bro. I feel like I'm back in, like... I don't know if you guys ever had a place like this. It was called Gigglebees. It was like this arcade place. Their mascot was like this coyote that... I swear I just saw something. But um, it was like this coyote that rode on a bicycle for the mascot and stuff. And this flooring just screams that to me. I mean, another similarity would be like Chuck E. Cheese's or something. But in the same way, this just like opened up childhood memories walking in here. It's so weird. Like I remember so fondly of like the laser tag stuff that we used to do back in like... You know, like those arcade stores and stuff. Like, it's just so cool, man. I don't know why that reminded me of it. It just did. It's a really strong memory. Just like, oh, wait. What the heck? A ton of ammo and a gun? With a laser sight? Is there a reason why it gave me a laser sight pistol right now? That's just a little bit odd to me that he would give me that. It's almost like he's trying to prepare me for something. I'm about to go and find... Why do I feel like we've already been here? It's because we have been here, but... Did we read this clipboard? Why do I not remember this? I don't think we read this. We did! Your basement, your basement. But where did this lead to? This was like the heaven. Can we climb up? Okay, so we can't climb up the walls. And then we got that other vent that we could go up to. But gosh, what... What do I need to find here, man? I'm so confused. Oh, wait. I need to go back to that other spot. Because I remember there was that little drop portion that I could go over here. So, I'm going to go and check that out first. And see what this actually brings us to. Because I'm actually really intrigued to see what other floors we could potentially go and explore here within my basement. And we got a ladder, too, that can also bring us back up, which is super nice. But the music is getting really intense, too. Almost like we're doing something right, maybe? I mean, we did just get our pistol, so it's pretty nice. But I'm going to go and put that on my side because I do have my other Glock just in case. But oh my goodness. Um, why? Why does it just continue to almost get more eerie and more creepy the more that we go along? Like, especially like the dark red walls. It just makes me a little bit uncomfortable in a way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you guys get that same way, but like red just kind of kind of strikes a little uncomfortable cord in my body and I don't like it. I don't like it, dude. I'm not a huge... <gasps> what the freak? What is this? It's just a dark room? And why is this door not open all the way? 
It's like freaking out. There's an empty room. Okay, so there's nothing to check out in this room, but I wonder why it was so dark. Okay, and then we got a power room, it looks like. And we got another vent. Nice. So we can actually go and check that out still. Anything that we can do with this? What's that say on there? I can't read it. I love this music, too. The music's so cool. It adds so much more to, like, these, like, exploration videos. I swear, man. Even just, like, the session of being able to... Whoa. What? Void spill. Okay, so I need to be careful. I could potentially die if I go into a void spill. Is it making noise in here? What? It's a dark room with a TV? Hello? We got another door over there. What else do we have? Like a board or something? Are there any more clipboards? What do we have? Oh, we do have a clipboard. Sweet. I'm gonna go and read this quick. What do we have? Anything can be a basement. What? What does that even mean? If you believe you're a basement, you are a basement. Because that makes sense. Thanks, Baba. That explains everything that's going on in this creepy place. Because anything can be a basement. And it still is prolonged throughout this entire... Like, how is there so many... Wait, that actually brought us back to... Oh, wait. Okay, so now we're actually getting a lot more common ground, which is super nice. Because for a good amount of time there, I'm starting to get to a point where I was like, I don't even know if we're going to be able to explore this full thing. Because, man, I... You would imagine by this point, I would be having, like, a lot of continuous, like, you know, replays of finding old areas. Like this. Like, this is exactly what I was expecting to see. But, what? So, how do I get in there? And it looks like... There's something on the other side. Is it just this wall that I can bust through? Like, is this a fake... A fake thing? It kind of looks fake. Unless I'm crazy. Or can I clip through it? Because how do I get in that? I want to see what's in that other room. There's something there. But I just don't know what. And how do I get there? Like, do you see it through the window? There's some type of, like, reflection thing in there. But I just, I can't tell exactly what it is. Okay, well, either way, I'm going to go and check out these other vents. Because I want to see where these also lead. I want to find, like, every possible, like, inch of this entire place, dude. Like, it just... It's already gotten me sucked in. Even though there's, like, not a crazy amount of, like, actual lore, in a sense. It's still just the idea of, like, what could be here. Which is the driving factor. Like, that's that's exactly what drove my fascination on the 7-Eleven. Was because it was just an ordinary 7-Eleven in Ohio. And now we're in my basement in Ohio. Which is just a great, great experience. But this leads right back... Okay, so I do know this room again. So I wonder if I should maybe just go and climb up that other vent that we were already at. Wait. Okay, so now we're looping. We're looping once again. So I should go this way, go in this vent, and then climb up to the top, right? Because I don't know if I've climbed all this stuff yet. So I kind of want to see what we got over here. Can you please get on my chest? Thank you. And we're going to go climb up and make our way through the vent. I love the fact that he made this all grabbable. Instead of having to go and like use your Nimbus and stuff, like it actually fully adds into the immersion of like being in like this random area. You know what I mean? Like this environment and stuff, it just kind of helps sell it a little bit compared to being forced to use like those other, you know, gadgets and all that sort. But wait a second, that was majorly like the other part of the floor. Do we even explore the top room yet? Where, like, the stairs led to and, like, the main spawn? I don't know if we ever even touched that yet. We should go and run back and see that. Because I don't think we've ever even, like, opened that door. So I'm kind of excited to go and see that. But where do you go? Okay, so your pool room. Okay, so I actually should go back here. I don't think this would be a bad idea to go and check out. So let's go and climb back to pool room. I'm starting to figure it all out. It's starting to all, like, kind of fall into place in terms of, like, just figuring out where I am in the map. So that is a really huge plus. But I feel like we haven't even, like, scratched the surface of what we got here, man. Like, knowing how a lot of, like, the map development that Baba does, he likes to add, like, those super crazy-looking rooms. And I'm just waiting to see that. So I'm gonna go and drop down. I assume this might just bring us back. Okay. Yep, so this is Skeleton Room. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god, this was so long ago. Okay, so skeleton room was like one of the first things that we checked out in this entire place. But wasn't there something that I was supposed to go and find? Actually, you know what? Let's just see the... Yeah, there's nothing in the little coolers. But wasn't there like another vent that I like was going to climb up, but I never did? Was it here? It was this room. Yes, I do remember this. I never climbed this room. So I need to see what was in store on this place. Because I never got to see what was over here. And I am curious. I'm a curious freaking cat. And I just want to see what we got over in this place. It might just loop right back to where we've already been, but it might not. And that's what's exciting about all of this. Uh, this looks like a familiar wall. My trip. Does this lead to... I think I know where it's at. It's that one god room, right? The big light? I think. Let me grab the wall or something. Yeah, because I think my Nimbus and stuff are there. And then we got the big... Yep, okay. So we got the big light up there. So I wonder if there's like any escape to the map. Like any way to get out of this place? Because I haven't figured that out yet. If there's actually like any place to like basically complete the map. Like an official ending to this. Because right now, I just feel like I'm wandering aimlessly, and my mind is just roaming places. But there was that one really, really creepy vent area that was just like pitch black. That was very, very sketchy. Which I think... Are we going back there? Yes, we are. I don't like this room, dude. This room sucks. So we got the lore tech stuff there. We're going to break the monitor. I want to see... Was there anything else that I missed in this room? I don't think there was, was there? Okay, I'm gonna continue going in this place, and we'll see. I'm not as creeped out by you anymore, okay? I've been here once before, so I can't be as... Ooh, never mind, I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything that I just said. Okay, just please don't hurt me. Got the light room, and then this leads to the other vent, right? If I remember correctly. So where else should we go and visit? Because I don't know if we got everything in these dark vent areas, man. I just keep hearing those sounds. Does that mean there's actually something roaming? Like, is there actually a roaming enemy that's in here? Or am I just like... I keep hearing him. I just don't see him. I hear the noises. and I don't like it. If I get like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare in one of these places, I am literally going to cry. Because I will not be able to handle that. It is like 1 o'clock in the morning when I'm actually recording this. So it's like... Did you see some? Hello? Okay. I'm getting out of here. I'm out. Dude, I'm going to go back through that other vent. What the freak? What is going on in this place, dude? Like, Why? Why is it just so freaking creepy? It doesn't even have to be this creepy. Like, I don't understand. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going to fall down this place and see where this takes me. Okay, so this brings us back to original room. So I need to go and loop around. And this should bring us to... Is this where I think I'm going? Does this bring me home? I can't remember if this brings me home. And wait, we never even checked this room out. What? A freaking bit machine? What is the bit mart doing here? I have no money. How am I supposed to buy anything here? I mean, do I have my other stuff? Like, I'm pretty sure I had something in my inventory, right? Let's see. Shop. No, I don't have anything in my inventory. Shoot. Okay, well, can't buy anything at the bit machine. But why is that just randomly sitting here in this room? Oh, I have so many questions. If any of you guys watching this video, like, have any better understanding of what goes on in, like, the mind of Baba, or the mind of, like, just this map in general, like, please let me know. Because I'm sure I definitely miss stuff on 7-Eleven, and I'm definitely gonna miss stuff on this map. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. But why did that music just cut out? I don't like that wait i just did a loop again okay so i'm going back up we'll go back to that vent room and then i just need to find an escape i gotta get out of here bro like i need to go back through pool room and get back home so i need to find where like the spawn door was because i haven't been there ever since and i need to check that out 
desperately right now. So I'm just going to keep running and see where it leads me. And hopefully we'll eventually be able to bump into it. So I assume if we just keep bashing our head against, you know, the wall enough times, eventually we're going to get back to where we need to be. So this is not where I need to be, but does... Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, I am lost. I am lost. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, green room. And then this will probably lead over to that ramp, right? Oh my goodness, bro. What is happening? I'm like in a dream right now. I My life is a movie. <laughs> my life is Roblox. <laughs> like, what the heck is going on? I'm going crazy, dude. I don't know what to think right now. Does the water work? I want... What the freak? It actually worked. Can I drink it? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Okay, pill machine. Anything behind you? Okay, nothing on the pill machine. But is there anything on top of it, maybe? I didn't even think of that. I should have been thinking vertically, not just horizontally there. Because there might have been stuff on those other walls. Shoot, dude. Okay, then we got these guys. What the freak? Like CO2 canisters? Like what are these doing here? Can I blow them up? I want to see if they blow up. Okay, they definitely don't blow up. Okay, that's checked. At least we know that. But man, where is home? I don't remember. I just keep circling. Like... What is going on, dude? Oh, this is a new song, though. This is a bop. Wait a second. I actually kind of like this a lot. I honestly wonder how much copyright I'm going to get within this video. Just because I know in the 7-Eleven one, like, yeah, literally every part of that was copyrighted. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. But the music is what makes it, man. Like, it's just something that adds to, like, the whole exploration-esque. And just, I don't know, it fills in all the dead space of just going and walking around and checking all that stuff out you know it just adds a little bit more to your experience which is super nice but i don't see anything else here so maybe i'm just going to continue climbing up these ladders and see if this brings us anywhere because at the moment i'm quite unsure where our main home is like i remember opening a lot of this stuff but i just don't see i just don't see our way back yet like am i tripping this was just a closet, right? Thought so. So I would have been over here. And this should lead back. Yes? Is this main? Oh, this looks familiar. I think we're on the right track. No, we're not. I think we need to go this way. Because as long as we have the hardwood floor, this should lead right back to where we initially were. Sweet. Okay, so we got this all the way back. I'm going to go check the main door. And see what we got on this. If there's a whole other level of doors here... This is locked too? Hello? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna make it for this exploration here within my basement. I went and checked around the map, just went and like flew around with the Nimbus gun to see if I missed anything. And to my knowledge, it doesn't look like there's any rooms that I skipped over. It seems like we actually went and adventured literally everything that you could find here within this entire level. And it was really, really exciting to go and just check it out and see what was in store and just like what was behind every door, you know, like, man, it was just, it, it was endless. It, it was so weird, but a strange way to explain the feeling that I had is this is very reminiscent of lucid dreaming. If you guys have ever lucid dreamed before, if you guys have ever practiced it or looked into it, that's what this entire map really reminds me of strangely enough almost like a dream world-esque type of experience where basically i open up doors and i have a familiar place that's blended with a place that i already know like it's super weird it probably sounds like some like crazy talk but trust me when i say this lucid dreaming is crazy if you've ever had it you know what it's like like basically realities blend in your dreams man it is the craziest thing and this level made me feel that exact way like from my toes to my head man and it was just so unique and fun to explore 
and this also gets me really excited just to go and see like the next 7-eleven update dude like if you went this crazy on doing an update for this map that's literally our basement what is he gonna do with 7-eleven man like i am so stoked so if you guys did end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made here on the channel then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post but other than that ladies and gentlemen i think that's gonna be it for me Laters. I got some shells for you, boy. Oh, it's in his eye. Oh, I fixed it. I would have no. died. Well, right no, no. here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences.